Hi, this is the College of Arts and Science for Women, PG Department of Costume Design and Fashion. I am Sugasra, Assistant Professor. My subject name is Pattern Making and Grading. Now, I am going to share my topic, Importance of Draping. Fashion designers can also use draping technique for designing and creating different designs. Draping is an important part of fashion designing and for students to practice different and unique variation of designs. Nowadays, fashion designing students who head toward best fashion designing institutes in Chandigarh wish to learn more and more about draping. Draping is considered to develop the structure of design garment. It is a technique to hang fabric on mannequin. The process of draping is to position the fabric and pin it in a dress form. It is a very useful and time-saving method for a fashion designer. Draping is done on muslin or lined cloth. Muslin is most common in expensive and trusting fabric to be used for draping techniques, usually for folds and add-on to manipulate the designers to make different look of a design. New and new techniques each day are coming in best fashion designing course in Chandigarh. To avoid wasting a good fabric, muslin is used for better Fittings. Firstly, piece of muslin cloth can be draped on a mannequin using a sketch of the design and pinning is done in desired safe and position. Always take accurate measurements before pinning a cloth onto a mannequin. Different types of fabrics can be used for draping and sewing garments but keep in mind that every fabric has different weights and behave very unique when draped choosing a muslin fabric weight which is very close to the fabric of your weight. One who wishes to learn it more professionally and practically most go for a professional fashion designing course from Best Fashion Designing College in Chandigarh. Example IIF. Designer can play with many designs and create new designs with the fabric folds to start an apparel manufacturing process. Once the design is prepared, fabric is removed from the mannequin dress form and continues with constructing a garment on a sewing machine. The raw edges of the muslin cloth should be hidden under your seams for good appearance of your garment. Basic bodies, block sleeves and basic skirt form is a good starting point for your learner. Start learning it professionally today. In current scenario, fashion designers use a technique of draping to create designs in apparel business. Therefore, Indian Institute of Fashion and Design IIFD has also taken draping as a professional subject for fashion designers. Methods of grading. There are three basic methods of pattern grading. Cut and spread. This is considered the easiest method. It is performed by cutting the pattern and spreading the pieces by a certain amount to grade up or down. The only tools needed are a pencil, ruler, scissors and measuring tape. Pattern shifting. This method is done by moving the pattern around at a constant distance. The distance redraws the outline in order to produce the same results as the previous cuts and spread method. Computer grading has developed with the advance of a new technologies. It is considered the fastest method. It basically uses the same process as the cut and spread and pattern shifting methods and de digitize them. Principles of pattern alteration. As far as possible, make changes within the pattern by slashing and spreading or slashing and lapping. Patterns can also be altered by redrawing the edges of the pattern. This is the method adopted for altering garments at the time of fitting. But the first method is by far the best in altering paper patterns. To preserve the original grind line, make all slashes and folds parallel or perpendicular to the grind line. To center front line, center back line, etc. Where there are dots, make changes between the tip of the dot and the outline edge. If an alteration in length is made along one edge of the pattern, take care to make an identical alteration 
in the adjoining edge. For example, if back shoulder seam is shortened, the front shoulder seam should be shortened. When tucks or dots are used for making a pattern smaller, remember that the width of these should be just half the amount to be removed. When decreasing or increasing the width of the pattern pieces, if only half the pattern, half back or half front is used, subtract or add only one fourth of the total adjustment to be made. For example, if waist measurement has to be increased by one inch, add half or call inch to the half back pattern and the same amount to the front pattern. If only a front or back section needs adjustment, add or minus half the amount of the adjustment to the respective section. When the pattern alteration involves slashing and spreading, it is necessary to keep a sheet of paper beneath and to pin or stick to it the spread out parts so that they will dab after remain in position on spreading or lapping after slashing some edges of the pattern becomes gouged this must be trimmed after driving the new seam lines thank you